Justice Kavanaugh? You, you mentioned at the beginning that the uh, over billion dollar in costs would be borne mostly by the federal government, I think you said. Uh, can you explain that? Sure. I, I think in large part by the federal government. So the, the secretary in estimating the cost said a, a big driver of the cost was going to be the cost of the vaccinations themselves, the shots, and the cost of administering the shots. The secretary explained that he was including that in the cost-benefit analysis to be comprehensive about the effects of the rule, even though the federal government covers the costs of vaccines for most employees and would cover them here. Okay. And then on the uh, question to follow up on Justice Gorsuch's question, what is the story, as you understand it, for why CMS has not previously required uh, flu shots for healthcare workers or some of the other vaccines that, as you pointed out, the states still uh, insist upon for healthcare workers? Is there a story there, or explanation there for why CMS has not? previously done that? I think the Secretary laid this out and sort of identified different reasons as to different categories of vaccines. So as to some, uh, where state vaccination requirements mean that everyone is basically vaccinated against th those diseases already, there was no need for the Secretary to do that. Uh, the Secretary also hasn't acted with respect to flu vaccines. Some states have done that. Not every state has done that. Uh, but the Secretary explained that this is a pandemic that is a much graver threat than the seasonal flu is, and also that these are uniquely effective uh, vaccines and explain that it's that combination, the sort of unique pandemic situation that we haven't seen before and the uniquely effective vaccines that led him to choose to adopt that here. Thank you.